I speak unto thee this day, and I say that men are so full of themselves, so full of their own works, I say they do not even consult me. That is, they go on through religious pride, through high-mindedness, <clears throat> and assuming that they are all right to do what it is that they desire that elevates them. That is, they want the glory, they want the kingdom, they want the power, yet I say they do not yield to me. And I say they do not submit themselves over unto me to be ruled by me. But I say they are a lawless class, they are a headstrong people, they are determined to do it their way. Yet I say they are fools who waste themselves on the vanity, the vexation of their own way, and in the end they are destitute before me. And I say it is because they are choosing to be losing by going in the way of their own stubbornness and pride. And I say they are so proud of their works that are born of whoredom, and they think they gain through the same. Now I say this day that I don't have been God, I'm calling all men to repent, because yes, they are needy of repenting unto me. That is, they are needy of turning from the whoredom they involve themselves in, from the pride, from the self-worship and idolatry of their own way. And I say they are needy of bowing down unto me, repenting and becoming right with me, and continuing to repent each day, because it is me that they serve. Now I say this day that I don't have been God never called men to be so full of themselves, so full of their religiosity, of their contempt for my humility way, and yet I say that they are. And I say because they are sick on self, I say it is me, the living God, who is calling them unto me. For I say they use my name in vain, in fraudulence, in pretension, but I say they do not love me. But I say, instead, they love the way of their own understanding, and I say, in the same, they are fools. Now I say, this day, when I don't have been God to give to men the solution for their troubles, their sorrows, for their arrogance and their conceit, I say, they are few who will accept the same. But I say, nonetheless, for the remnant who will be spared, I say that I give the call to all. For I say, when I'm calling men to repent and they will refuse to walk in my way, then I say they are the ones who are held responsible for the same. That is, because they chose the way of their own understanding, the way of fools, and I say they were far from me. Now I say this day, be thankful that I don't have been God have called you to repentance, revolution. I say, be thankful each day to walk in the same. That is, to be brought forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. For I say, when I don't have been God to give the call to the sons of men to repent, and they will obey my call, then I say they are guided forth by me. But I say, when I give the call to men to repent, and they stubbornly, proudly refuse me, then I say they are taken far from me. Now I say this day that I don't have been God, do not find joy in those who are under Babylon's Jesus, because they want their own way. That is, they want to do works to be seen of men, they want to be able to brag on how great they are. And I say they want to take the glory to themselves and then claim that it is all of me. But I say they are fools who are blinded by the very God that they serve and they love it so. But I say there are others who are bound, who are found under Babylon's Jesus, who are groaning within because they truly desire me. But I say they have been ensnared and entangled, they have been taken in the confusion, the delusion, and yes, they are stuck in the same. For I say that men, many of them, once they come under delusion and confusion, cannot find their way out of the same. That is, unless they give themselves to radical revolution against sin, against deceit, and bow the knee unto me. For I say it takes true repentance, revolution, in the lives of those who have been tainted by Babylon's Jesus to become true unto me. For I say they are filled on, filled on flattery and falsehood, they are filled on deceit, they are filled on pride, they are filled on esteeming themselves. And I say all the while they are deceived, but somehow they love it so. And I say it is only the ones who truly cry out to be delivered and then obey my commands towards the same who will be set free in me. For I say a man can cry and moan and plead for help, but if I give him direction and correction and instruction and he refuses to obey the same, then I say that he sinks in his own mire. Now I say this day that I, a living God, never called you to sink in the mire, but I say that I've called you to come forth in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. And I say that I've called you to be thankful each day that you can indeed be guided in my way. 
that is ever uplifted, brought forth, directed, and corrected by me, that is ever given the truth and the light and the mercy, the purpose that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will honor a people who honor me in all that they do. That is, when they put me first, when they put me as the one they are meant to please always. But I say, when a people are weary of my way because they want their own way, then I say they are contentious against me. And I say they will find ways to undermine what it is that I, the living God, have purposed and go another way. Now I say this day, do not, absolutely do not go another way, but I say come forth in my way. That is, come forth uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. And I say, be ever thankful that you can continue to believe me, to trust me, and obey me each and every day. And I say, be thankful that you are brought forth in that which I give time and again. Now I say, this day, let it be me that you continue to trust, to please, to obey each and every day. And I say, let it be me who will prove to be the light, the safety given unto thee, for yes, indeed, you are mine. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who does direct and correct, instruct and guide forth the ones who will be believing and cleaving unto me. I say this day that I, the living God, do desire that my own people would realize how important it is that they be ruled by me. For I say that I do not want my people to waste themselves in useless years of service unto another God. That is, unto Babylon's Jesus, which is nothing but falsehood, pretension, and delusion, and wasting themselves upon that which brings forth nothing but the wind. I say this day, be glad that I, a living God, do give unto you this straight, the narrow way that you can come forth uplifted each day in me. That is, accepting my humility way as the way of your life, the way you are intended to live in. For I say, if you truly will accept my way and walk in the same, then I say, you are given my hope always. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the strength that can only be found through me. Now I say, this day, be thankful that you can be guided forth, that you can be uplifted, that you can be directed by me. And I say, be thankful that you are brought forth in that which I give you time and again. I say, be thankful that you are given the light upon the path, the strength, the truth, and the hope of who I am. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness revealed. I say, this day that I, the living God, am desiring to free men from the bondage, the oppression, the chains that they are in. And I say, there will be those who will hear my call and obey. And I say, it is me, the living God, who does expect that they will be filled with the new life that can only be found in me. But I say there are others who are so used to playing the hypocrite, the pretender, the mopper, the scoffer, and going in their own way, that I say they will keep up the same all to their own despair. But I say that the ones who are choosing to walk uprightly in me, I say they are guided forth each day by me. Now I say this day, be glad that you do not need to stray away from me, that you do not need to go according after the gods of the heathen. But I say that you can indeed be brought forth in that which I give you time and again. And I say that you can indeed be guided in the blessedness, the truth, the light, the mercy that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. Now I say, therefore, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive of me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is truth and mercy, hope and peace and strength provided day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will ever guide forth and instruct the people who are indeed submitted unto me. For I say it is very important what a man is covered in, and I say that if he's covered in lies, then he becomes a liar. But I say if a man is covered by me, the living God, then I say that he comes forth in truth. I say this day be thankful that you do not need to waste your time in false works, in glorifying self, in glorifying religious pride. But I say that you can learn to walk humbly each day in me and come forth in my way. And I say that you can be directed, uplifted, and instructed in that which I give you, for I am indeed well able. And I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is righteousness revealed. Now I say this day, be glad that you can continue to look to me, to believe upon me, and to trust each day in me. 
And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be found involved in that which is wickedness, that which is corruption, and that which is destruction of soul. But I say that you can continue to put forth the call to all to repent, for that is my directive unto thee. And I say, if you keep that commandment, not only in your words, but in your deeds and in your prayers, for the lost, the dying, the perishing, for the religious blind, I say that it is me, the living God, who will give my mercy unto thee. For I say you are not meant to be involved in falsehood, you are not meant to be involved in hypocrisy and pretension, but I say you are meant to be involved in me. And that means that you follow what it is that I command you to do and come forth in my way. Now I say you this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive of me. For I say it is me, the living God who is able, I say be thankful unto me. And I say, be made glad that you can come forth in that which I, the living God, do give unto you time and again. And I say, when you see men with all of their wild and insane ambitions to make great names for themselves in the field of religion, know that it counts for naught. For I say, when men are striving to achieve their own glory, to receive the recognition for the same and claiming it is of me, they are full of lies before me. For I say that I, the living God, do not call men to glorify flesh, nor to gain recognition to prove what fools they are. But I say that I call men to humble themselves to come forth in my way each and every day. Now I say this day, be thankful for the privilege to continue, be thankful for the privilege to partake each day of me. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace provided. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be found in the wayward way of fools, in the careless way of those who seek their own glory. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is able to guide you forth as you bend the knee unto me. For I say that I do not call my people to the complexity of religion, for I say that it is all for naught. But I say that I call my people to obey me, to follow me, to walk uprightly in me. That is, coming forth in the truth, the light, the strength that I provide, ever guided in my way. That is, coming forth, may glad, ever thankful for the privilege to believe, to receive, and be brought forth in me. Now I say this day, when you look upon what it is that I, the living God, do offer to you, I say it is the way that is newness of life, it is the way that is truth and hope, and I say it is the way that is peace provided. And I say, when you are truly accepting of that way, then I say, you cannot help but rejoice in me. I say, this day, be thankful that I, the living God, will indeed strip away from you all of the hypocrisy, the pretension, and the delusion that would take you far from me. And I say, when you are indeed stripped of your pride, do not moan the same. But I say, be thankful for the great deliverance that is found in the same. For I say that pride and pride in a man's reputation and his works and in how great he imagines he is are nothing but weights, they are sins, they are chains that hold a man down. That is, they hold him to the carnal plane where he cannot truly abide in me. And I say, when I the living God do cut those encumbrances from you, I say, do not mourn, but I say, be thankful unto me. That it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust, for I am the I am. That it is me that you can follow after, seek to please, to obey. For I say that I give unto you the newness of life as you continue in repentance, revolution unto me.